You know, I'm not sure it can get much worse than that. I'm not saying it can't. Because it can. I know it can. I'm just saying I'm not sure how much. By how much it could possibly get worse. So it, just, eh. it can't be that much worse. Because, I mean, yeah, I've got to deal with Dark Rye, and that's going to suck. But having to constantly watch these two backs while having only one, my only non-fire type move be disabled. I think this game really new to that. Um, it's just a, it's, this whole scenario is just, yeah. why? Anyway, it seems to be 15 floors each. It was the last area, so maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be nice for once, and maybe it'll even be less. Who knows? I certainly don't. I mean, I knew Dark Rye was behind this and being a fake and a phony because, because I, I, I just can't help myself. And I watched a video actually a really long time ago of a scene of the scene where. Dark right reveals himself. So I already kind of knew that was coming. I just, yeah, you know, I didn't, I didn't remember everything exactly. So, by the way, what the heck are you? You're a ripe, ripe, superior, ripe, ripe, inferior. I, I don't know how to. Cresselia, I swear, you just cannot help yourself, but be a pain in the neck, can you? Okay, do I have an? Okay. So I'm not having you die and using another one of my revive seeds. No way. Forget it. Just gonna Just trying to try to get through this dungeon without having to use another one of those would be great. Hello, Torkoal. Or that be your name. Didn't mean to use that twice, but I did. Oh well. Beat him up, Katie! Come on! You know, I seriously worry sometimes when these, 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 these partners of mine, they just... Come on, Katie, after everything we've been through, this is what this is how you fight. I can't, it's unbelievable sometimes. Some days you're just OP and you one-shot literally everything. And the next, you just, like, barely leave them alive. Just enough to make me do, do it. Like, come on. Yes, I'm almost dying. We're just gonna walk now. I'm gonna eat a berry now because I don't want to die. Do that. I don't know what it is, but it's not good. And I certainly want to get it into the open. ASAP. I swear, Caselli, you don't freaking die again. You were unbelievable! Okay. I'm just gonna step in and burn the son of a gun. Because I don't have time for this. This game is just being a real pain in the neck. I'm almost out of orange berries. <laughs> Darkrai, I swear, if you put all these Pokemon here, I'm going to rip your head off of your ghostly figure. I just, I swear. You know, at least Katie is slightly more helpful than Cresselia. Like, come on. There is, seriously, there are disappointing things in the world. And then there is you right now, Cresselia. I hope you realize you are more than disappointing. You're just unbelievably weak. I just cannot fathom. I cannot understand how weak you are. It's just something my brain right now is just struggling to process. Because you stink so much. I just. Ah. You know, I thought I would have a helpful partner in this dungeon. This would be a cool partnership. Not a frickin' escort mission! I hate escort missions! Oh, but just... Why? So, my timer's done, but you know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna go beat up Darkrai. 
I don't even care. I can go on the lava, you son of a gun, and I'll burn your face. And you can see how it feels like. So it's just constantly makes me suffer and burns and get sent more on fire. I swear if you kill me, I'm not even gonna give you the chance. I'm not even gonna give you the chance. Where is my freaking? Where is it? I know I've got one in here somewhere. There's gotta be one in here somewhere. No? I swore I had a sleep seed. Somewhere. In this madness. Apparently not. Whatever. I'm not having it right now. You can sit there and make sure everyone gets a good view of you before I hit you. Make sure you're gone before you become a problem. I'm just not having it today. It's a blue gummy. I don't care. I don't care if it's a for a water type. I'm going to eat it. The rest of you can watch for all I care. Cause my gosh, you just... I'm losing my mind. I cannot believe. I cannot fathom. I just... Cresselia's useful, quote-unquote usefulness right now is mind-boggling. It's just unbelievable. Like, why? Why, Cresselia? Why? Really? You're, you're gonna do this right now? You're going to be like that? Okay. I have no words. I have... No words for that one. Can I eat the brown gummy? No, it's it's sticky. Fine. Is everything down here? Okay, you know what? It's mine. It's mine. Like I lost something. One of my moves at the very beginning, and it seriously hindered me. So it's mine. Just end of the story. No. No arguments, no debate. It's mine, because I say it is. And you guys have been a pain in the neck enough for me to need to say that. To have basically your your words, even if they argued, I wouldn't listen because you know what? They've been a pain in the neck. They've been super unhelpful in multiple situations. And I feel the need that their input it does it's just invalid at this point. Okay, you know what? First of all, you guys are going nowhere. I'm not having you guys. <sighs> your what is your? Okay, Katie, can you please not go anywhere. I need somebody to stay put. Cause I could just throw this at the wall, this controller at the wall right now, and I wouldn't regret a thing. Except for I lost that broke. But you know what? I still feel pretty good about it. And hopefully, Cresselia can keep herself alive for two minutes while I try to get over there in one piece. It just... There you are. Alright, can you... Because is not technically my party member, so I can't just tell her, you know, stay put. Because that would be nice. That would be something... That would be game giving me too much. Game be giving me too much to. Mm. That is an orange berry, yes. And I'm probably going to need it in the near future. Oh, I did have a cleanse orb. Whatever. I don't need those. I didn't need those sticky items that much anyway. I don't really think I'm losing any much, anything seriously. Please kill it, Cresselia. Please do something right for once. Yes! Finally something goes well. Just... Die! Please. Please just die. I don't have time to... I don't have time to... To really... Put up with you anymore. These ghost things... These everything else... <laughs> Dark Knight, you are dead when I find you. Because... This has been... One of the most annoying dungeons ever. I really don't have the patience for this right now. I do not have the patience for this right now. 
And now I've gotta go over here because Cresselia's gonna get herself killed if I don't. This Cresselia is a giant idiot. But I don't care if that's mean. It's the truth. Cresselia is an overrated legendary. My gosh, it's just. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, I cannot believe this. This is my team. This is the team I have to work with. And it's sad as I'll get. At least I can kill Larion on my own now. These, Lord knows these two are too, way too unreliable for that. <sighs> I just need to calm down for a minute here. Really nice. This game would let me have a break! I seriously... Okay. Don't step on the traps. I'm not sitting around because you guys can't tell your feet from your hands right now. Because you're, you're oh, I'm so deadly darn confused. Well, that's not my problem. Just don't die. That's all I ask you to do. Don't die. And you guys sometimes can barely manage to do that. Is this just me or did the guy just light on fire as soon as we saw him? I'm pretty sure my stare doesn't. Even though I'm a fire type, I'm pretty sure my stare doesn't light Pokemon on fire, so. Uh. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think. It's kind of weird. It's like they can only light on fire once they're in our view or something. And as long as no one sees them doing it, they can just walk on lava like it's no big deal. Oh, wrong move. I'm gonna tell dead. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ow, five damage. Over a hundred HP. Five damage. It's not a lot, buddy. See, this is that's why I hate that move. Roar, I believe that was. Because Roar is just not that helpful. It just isn't. Just, that's just fact. Roar is not helpful. Besides getting rid of enemies. It will not damage them. That much. Not enough to make it to to have it matter. I don't know what it does in the original Pokemon games, but yeah, it doesn't do enough damage in this game for it to be really helpful. So let's just... Uh, I'm just gonna eat that. Nom 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 nom. And we'll please just find... End of this dungeon. Yes! 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 Oh, he's so dead. Oh, he's so dead. Oh my gosh, it's a dead end. This looks like the deepest we can go. Where's Darkrai, though? Going to be it. You've kept me waiting. Darkrai, good of you to come, Katie and Megan. Why do you keep after us? You don't even know us. I know you all too well. You especially, Megan. What? When you came to this world with Grovel, Megan, you were caught up in an accident. An accident? Oh, that's right. Grovel once explained it. We had an accident traveling back in time. We ran into some turbulence. This cutscene. We've seen this like two or three times now. I think this is the third time we've seen this cutscene. Out of like 70 plus episodes, that's not bad. Yes, you and Grovel had an accident while traveling through time. You became separated as a part result of it. You were also transformed from a human into a Pokemon, and you lost your memory as well. And you know all this why? Has it not occurred to you how odd that accident was? How odd? Yes, think of how the accident occurred, precisely when you and Grovel were traveling through time, that fails to strike you as odd? Darkrai. Darkrai, you know something about it? Naturally, that very accident was caused by another other than myself. Well, a big shocker, this guy's a prick. Wouldn't surprise me. What did you say? My wish is to engulf this world in darkness. In a different reality, it did. I set my sights on Dialga's temporal tower because of its tie to time. It's a, it's a sabotage temporal tower that would have eventually led to the destruction of time and ultimately the planet's paralysis. However, Grovel and Megan decided to meddle. I learned of their impending arrival from the future, and I attacked Grovel and Megan as they traveled in time, so that I would be rid of them. 
but an unforeseen event made it impossible to be rid of either of them. It should have been enough, especially for Grovel. However, do you know how you became to be a Pokemon, Megan? During the accident, you shielded Grovel from my attack. Whoa! Shielded Grovel? Yes, you absorbed the brunt of the attack I'd intended for Grovel. Use your fierce will to protect your partner became entangled with the many dimensions during your time travel. Oh, as a result, you were transformed into a Pokemon. I... I did that? I assumed what I did was sufficient. I thought that I'd render you incapable of preventing the planet's paralysis. However, I underestimated your resourcefulness. You met with Katie, and the two of you stopped the destruction of Temporal Tower. Because I'd underestimated and disregarded how much you would meddle. My original plan ended in failure. That's why. That's why you decided to get rid of Katie and Katie first this time. They wouldn't be imp impediment to your scheming. That's why you try to break their spirit, even going so far as to use an imposter of me. And even now, you lured us here, so you could be rid of us all in one fell swoop. Very good. I did indeed do just what you say. But I've had a change of heart. So, Megan, Katie, both of you are brave. You've shown great initiative. To be rid of you forever seems like a tragic waste. You've both shown so much promise. Why not join me? Heck no. What? Why not join me in ruling a world full of darkness? Are you insane? Rule the world with Darkrai? It is entirely possible if we three band together. Well, will you join me? You and Katie, don't believe his lies. Katie, are you listening? Maybe Darkrai is right. No, Katie! have a chance against Dark Ray anyway. It's pointless to resist. Maybe the best thing to do. Are you kidding me? This better be some facade, Katie. Cause I ain't gonna be happy. I am not happy right now. <laughs> Motherfucker! Practical of you, Megan. What will you do? You're one of us. Our first order of business will be Cresselia here. The three of us shall get rid of her together. What did you say? Heh, <laughs> Don't go. I ain't joint Katie, you betrayer. I am not. Something's not right here. I can't. You better actually give me an option. I will be really pissed if you don't. No way. I will never. This is all. This is all a nightmare. You put me to sleep. You prick. You. Oh, jeez. I was right. It was being deceived. Darker was showing me an illusion. That was close. Blast it, I was on the verge of success. Is that your answer, Megan? Of course. Katie would never consider even saying something like that. Turn with Darkrai? Out of my life. In world of darkness, I won't let it happen. So be it. You've made the wrong choice. There's nothing left to say. I will be rid of you now. Yep. We yeah, are blush. Surrounded. I knew it. I figured you would do something like this. Say what you will. This is where I will finally be rid of you meddlers. Seize control of the darkened world as its king. Is it attack? I wonder what it would said if I just left the dots, but I don't want I don't want it to come to the point where it you know it's it's not something I can undo. Okay, first of all, you, right there. Yes, you. 52, you were at 53. Don't eat it! Holy crap, don't eat it. I hopefully can trust you guys enough to not stink so much. Okay. Whenever it gets to be my turn, be any time game. You can't hit his art if he's lower leveled. It's too low of a level. Got, I've got a few more of these, so... Just, you know... I hope you know that. 
I know I have to be careful with Cresselia, because Cresselia is a weak turd and can never freaking save her own skin. Okay, so items. Because I have to save her neck before she dies. You're so useless, Cresselia. I swear. I don't think Darkrai is really that tough, I just think I've got to prevent everyone else from kind of ceasing to be. Oh my gosh, Kitty is taking a nap right now. Unbelievable! I have to pay so much attention to frickin' Cresselia because she's so awake! And I'm not having her eat up all of my Reviver Seeds if I can help it. I want some of these guys to be out of the way before that happens. Oh, I feel like he's sneezing. Oh, no! No! Oh. Okay, I've got to get rid of some of these guys because. Okay, so I'm gonna switch places with you. You can deal with Dark Rack crying out loud. You just Cresselia, I swear I'm gonna You die I'm just not having this right now. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Let her uh, uh I'm going to eat. Katie's like, yeah, it's strong and stuff, but me, not so much. <laughs> Come on. Uh, this, is, this is like nail biting right now. <coughs> okay, I think I can get rid of you in one fell swoop. If it wasn't cringing, what the frickin'. Mm, I'm seriously not happy right now. Okay, whoever, you, you're gonna die. You right there, you, you're gonna die right now. At least they can't hit me if I'm underground. I just have to be quiet right now, I gotta concentrate. Gosh, Crystal, you're gonna eat all of my reviver seats. You have eaten all my reviver seats, haven't you? Mother Oh thankfully somebody is out of the picture. I just want to get one of these freaking things out. Thank you. Getting there. We're getting somewhere. Now, Cresselia is probably going to die soon. But, hey. Let me see. Uh, okay, this is kind of a gamble here, but there's nowhere to warp. Well, it was worth a try. Can you please just die? Everything refuses to let that one die. I don't understand why. Come on, I'm so close. Not dying here. You get out of the picture. You are so annoying. Literally the worst.
Okay, I have another orange berry, right? No, are you kidding me right now? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Really am out, aren't I? Crap, okay. Got a... Got a healer somehow, but I don't know how. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Oh jeez, okay. Okay, good. Cresselia, take her head. We gotta take him out. We don't have time for this anymore. Come on, take him out, take him out. Hurry up. Fine, paralyze me. See what good it does you. You... Ah, wow. Okay, that's that was the wrong button entirely. Yes! <sighs> we we did it. This is the end for you, Dark Rai. Cresselia, don't you remember? I said you cannot catch me. That's a dimensional hole. Is that? Yep, yeah, that's just- that's what I- Dimensional hole may take me to the future. Or the past. Even I don't know where, but leave me. But, I failed only in this time. I will simply plunge the world into darkness in another time. Stop! Dark Rai! You're not getting away. Too bad for you. I can slip away through time with just one step. You cannot catch me. Oh. Bye to you. Well, how do you like that? Finally, in the end, it ends in my ultimate victory. I won't allow that. Yes! Grenace! Your Palkia! You will pay as a grave price for expanding the distortion of space, Darkrai. You pay a grave price. This is a strike for justice. Take this! There is no escape. He can distort space. He can probably just get you right back. Dimensional hole. Completely shattered, with Darkrai still inside of it. I heard Darkrai scream. Did he disappear forever? No, that has not happened. He has suffered grievous damage and been banished to some unknown place. But wherever he may be, he lives. When he recovers from injury, won't Darkrai go back to his wicked ways? That remains to be seen, because when Darkrai entered the dimensional hole, he began to time travel. At that precise moment, he was struck with Palkia's attack. Remember what Darkrai said about Megan's rival from the future? Darkrai attacked during time travel, so Megan got hit with amnesia. So just like Megan, it's likely that Darkrai has lost his memory as well. Dang! A legendary, though? He lost his memory? Darkrai will likely never recover his memory, and he will wander lost through the world. We are done with him. We will not likely expand the distortion of space again. I will return to Spatial Rift. I foresee no reason to ever return here. Farewell. Alright, see you later, you scary thing. Mm. Quite terrifying. That is that. Shall we also go back? Yep. Let's go home, Megan. Back to Treasure Town. The world has been saved! Nuts.
Well then, um, I, um, I think there's a little more to this game, but yeah, we are nearing the end of the post story. And anyway, that's the end of the session, so I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.